Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video we're going to be taking a look at Pet Libro's newest automatic cat feeder, which is the Granary Feeder. So I've tried out a couple of Pet Libro feeders in the past. You might remember our video on their 4 liter feeder with a non-locking lid, as well as their Easy Feed, which had a larger capacity and a latch on the lid. The Granary is, again, the newest addition to the Pet Libro lineup. I was interested in seeing how its features differed and perhaps improved upon uh, those in those other feeders I've tried. I also wanted to see how it compared to the other feeders on the market, so I've tried a number of them over the years, and I wanted to see how the Granary stacked up. So in order to find out what this granary feeder was all about and whether or not it's going to be worth it, I've spent some time with it over the last couple of weeks. I opened it up, assembled it, and then I used it with my two cats. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you all of the details on how the granary works and how well it works um, and telling you whether or not I think it's going to be a good choice. Now we are working with Pet Libro to offer our viewers a 20% discount, so stay tuned until the end of the video to get that discount code or just check it out in the description. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about what this granary feeder is all about. So it's an upright feeder uh, made for dry food. So if you're not familiar, upright feeders have a hopper and then they have a spout. And uh, according to a set schedule, food is going to drop down out of that hopper and into a bowl through that spout. Upright feeders are only appropriate if you want to use a dry food, but in that case, they can be quite useful for portion control, for making sure that your cat has meals even when you're not available to feed them. And they can also be a good option if you have a cat who tends to eat too quickly. They can help to stagger those meals out and keep your cat from scarfing down too much food at once. So there are reasons to get an upright feeder uh, if you're someone who feeds your cat dry food. So as for the granary upright feeder specifically, this is in some respects a pretty basic feeder, but it also has some nice features intended to increase the freshness of the food that's stored in there and also increase the security of that food, um, preventing cats from getting in there uh, when they're not supposed to. So for one, this feeder has a locking lid. It has a little gasket around the rim of that opening. And then it has a desiccant packet built into the underside of the lid. So all of these features are going to help to keep the food from going stale or being contaminated. It also has a stainless steel bowl instead of a plastic bowl like you'll see on some other automatic feeders. And this helps to create a more hygienic eating experience for your cat. So from bottom to top, this feeder has a number of freshness features, so to speak. And then in terms of security, of course, you have that locking lid again. And then you also have this patented rotor um, that dispenses the food and helps to prevent cats from reaching up and accessing any of it. I'll talk a little bit more about how all of these features actually work in a second. Um, but first, let's talk about what you get in the box and how this product is set up. So this feeder comes in a few parts. You're going to get the main base, which has the little readout screen and the buttons that you're going to use uh, to program the feeder and make adjustments to the scheduling. And then to that attaches the bowl base and the stainless steel bowl that your cat's going to eat from. And then on top of that main base or body, you're going to put the hopper and then screw on the lid. When I assembled the feeder, I found that everything fit together pretty well. Everything felt nice and rugged, which is a nice uh, change from some of the other automatic feeders on the market. One thing I noticed is that the bowl does not stay on to the base all that well. So if you knock it over, the bowl might fall off. But other than that, everything fit together really snugly and quite well. Once assembled, you're going to plug the unit in using the included a USB-C cord and adapter. And then you can also add 3D batteries as backup power. So this is going to allow the feeder to keep on working if there's a power outage. Note that if there is an outage, all the settings are going to be saved in the system. And then once it's assembled and plugged in, it's going to be time to add your food. So the hopper has a three liter capacity, which uh, depending on which type of food you choose should add up to about 12 and two thirds cups. Um, that's again, a pretty small capacity. For instance, the Pet Safe uh, Simply Feed has a 24 cup capacity. However, this does work well with the theme of freshness because when you're feeding a cat, you're not going to be giving them that much and having too much food in the hopper 
could lead to it going stale before your cat's had a chance to eat it. Um, palatability is really, really important. Uh, so this feeder should last your cat for about two weeks, uh, but that is going to be higher or lower depending on how much your cat eats or if you have multiple cats. So we've added all of the food, we've plugged in the unit, it's going to be time to program it. So all of the programming happens on the screen on the front of the unit. You're going to have to unlock it and then set the clock first. So you're going to set the current time and then you're going to move to the meal settings menu. So once you're here, you're going to choose from six different feeding times. So you're able to program from one to six feeding times each day. You're going to choose a time for each of those feedings and then you're going to choose a portion size. So you have anywhere from one to 50 portions per meal. One portion is equal to 20 milliliters, which added up to about one and one third of a tablespoon or uh, one tablespoon and one teaspoon. So you're going to have to figure out um, how many portions is going to equal your appropriate meal size. Once you figure that out though, you're going to be able to, again, program between one and 50 portions per meal. So somewhere between uh, one and a third tablespoons and a little over four cups of food. So a lot of flexibility there. I did find the programming a little bit frustrating in the respect that every time you want to make changes to your schedule, you have to go through that clock setup menu as well. There's no way to jump directly to the meal settings. A little bit frustrating, but you get the hang of it. After you've done that main setup, you're going to be able to record a voice message that's going to play uh, somewhere between zero and five times per feeding. Hey, it's time to eat. Come over here. Uh, personally, I don't really see all that much value in this functionality. I think most cats are just as willing to come to the sound of a feeder dispensing as they are to a kind of muffled recording of their human's voice, um, but it is kind of fun to uh, set that up. So again, you're able to adjust how many times that voice message is going to play per feeding. You can have it not play on nighttime feedings and play during daytime feedings. You can make any adjustments you want uh, in terms of whether or not it plays during a feeding and how many times it plays at each feeding. And then once everything's set up, well, it's going to be time to start using the feeder. So you can either just let it go along the schedule every single day, or you can do an immediate feed by pressing that immediate feed button. Um, each press of the button is going to dispense one portion, so you can eject as many portions as you want at a time. During the time that I had this feeder out in my house, I found that it worked quite consistently. All of the food lands nice and cleanly in the bowl. I didn't notice a lot of bouncing and scattering like I've seen with some other feeders. Overall, it just worked uh, pretty consistently and pretty well. In terms of security, this is one of the best upright feeders I've tried. Um, clearly, Pet Libro put a lot of effort into developing a feeder that was quite secure. And I'm excited to say that because previous Pet Libro feeders I've tried just really didn't do too well in the security department. I was able to knock them over, get some food out, dig some food out through this chute. Not so with this feeder. I did a number of tests. I tried knocking it over. I tried kind of pawing at the lid. I tried sticking my hand up through the chute there was no way that I was able to fish food out of here. So I'm very impressed with what Pet Libro has been able to accomplish with this feeder. I think it's going to be a good option for cats who are really food motivated and have a tendency to try to break into their feeders. This does seem to be one of the most secure upright feeders on the market. Now, as for my cat's reactions to the granary feeder, um, again, they're on a high moisture diet. They didn't get an opportunity to get all that much use out of it, but I did have it sitting around and they would go get some occasional nibbles from it and they seem pretty comfortable with it. They've tried a number of automatic feeders. Some of them have bowls that are too deep, a little bit uncomfortable. Some of them are too noisy, um, but the granary uh, seemed to be something that they enjoyed. Uh, they seem perfectly willing to eat from it. After I've been using the feeder for about a week, I started to notice some smeariness in the bowl, so I had to clean that out. Uh, it's easy to clean that bowl in the dishwasher and then almost all of the other parts of the feeder can be taken apart and hand washed. This assembly is very straightforward as is reassembling it once you're done. So overall I would say that maintenance of this feeder is 
a cinch. Um, now, before I talk about my final conclusions on this feeder, we should probably touch on price. So this feeder costs currently $69.99 in the Pet Libro store. They say that this is discounted from $79.99. Compared to other similar feeders on the market, it's a little bit cheaper. So for instance, uh, the ever popular um, Simply Feed from PetSafe is over $90. Um, and there are a lot of other automatic feeders that are going to be in that $90 to $100 price range. So I think $69.99 for a feeder of this type is a pretty good price. Of course, again, you can get a 20% discount if you enter the coupon code ALLABOUTCATS at checkout. And so that's going to bring your price down a bit lower. So from performance to price, what do I think of this feeder overall? Uh, Overall, I was quite happy with this feeder. I think that it has some features that really stand out in the areas of security uh, and helping to keep the food fresh. Um, it seems like a really good option for people who either want to keep a really, really food motivated cat out of their food or who want to make sure that that food isn't going stale. Yes, it does lack uh, some size, so you're not able to put huge amounts of food in it at a time. And uh, the portion system is a little bit frustrating. I kind of wish that it had something that would probably be more intuitive uh, and based on volume or weight. Something like that might make it a little bit easier to program. And it also lacks a little bit of flexibility in terms of portion size. So you're not able to get any lower than that one 20 milliliter portion. And then kind of similarly, some people might want to feed more than six meals per day. Uh, if that's the case for you, certainly this wouldn't be the best option. But overall, I think that for most people and especially those who want to keep their cats out of the feeder when it's not time for a meal uh, or people who want to keep dogs out of the feeder, this could be one of the better options on the market. So again, you can purchase this feeder through the Pet Libro store. You can also buy it on Amazon. I'll put links to both in the description, but I would generally encourage you to go through the store so that you can take advantage of that coupon code. Again, it is all about cats and I'll put all of the details in the description um, so you can take advantage of that discount. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that it helped you to determine whether or not this might be a good choice for you or introduce you to a new product. If you have experience with this feeder, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And of course, feel free to share any other thoughts or any requests for other videos you'd like to see in the future. Speaking of videos in the future, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so. Um, we cover similar videos like this one, product reviews, buyer's guides, and general information on all things cats. So if you are a cat lover and you're interested in more videos like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you get the news every time we release a new video. So thank you so much and I will see you next week. Bye.